So in this video we're going to use Redis as a message broker in a pop-up mechanism using the Redis streams. So if you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello, what's up guys? Medium Guy here. If you have watched my previous video, you must already know about the problem with the pop up system in the Redis. So actually in this video, we're going to use the Redis streams to actually persist the message data in the Redis itself. And whenever the subscribers get up and running, they'll actually be able to consume the data from the Redis and do the required process on them so the messages won't be lost and gone forever so without any delay let's see this in action so totally i've got two files one for publish and the other for subscribe and in the publish file again i'm going to use the io redis package to make connections to the redis instance that is running on my local host on the default port without any authentication so actually again i'm not passing any options when i'm creating connections to it so the only function i have over here is going to actually stream some data to the redis stream so i'm going to use the redis.send command which will send the actual command that i want to the redis shell which i'm going to use the redis.command and i'll use the xadd command so actually in here we have the full documentation about the stream commands so the xadd command format is something like this so we use the xadd to stream some data to define streams inside the redis server so the my stream is the key for the stream next we pass the message id which can be passed as a star so it will be generated by the redis server itself and next the data which will be key value pairs so in this case it is sensor id with the value of 1234 and the temperature with the value of 19.8 so of course there can be a lot of other commands that we can use for the streams i'll put the link down below if you want to deep dive into this so going back in here we have the xadd command with the stream name of q we start the same as the example that we saw which the redis server will actually generate the message id and next the key value pairs the key message with the node.js as the value so whenever i call this file a stream will be added and a new message will be added to that stream so if i go to the redis server that i'm running locally on my machine there is actually nothing in here if i say node pop.js i'll hit enter and if i refresh over here i see that there is a new stream added over here if i open it inside this i see that a message is added over here with the id that is generated and value the exact same key value pairs that i passed so next we have the sub.js file which is actually going to subscribe to that stream and listen for the messages so again using the io stream we have created a new instance a new connection to the redis server inside the main function we have an infinite loop which is actually going to infinitely listen for the messages on the defined streams on the redis server so again we're going to send a command to the redis server this time it'll be xread so if we come back to the official documentation in here we can see the xread can have some options like count to which will take two messages at a time and will pass the stream so it'll read from the streams and will actually pass in the stream name and zero at the end so it'll look for all the messages in that stream so going back to the code over here we'll send the xread command will pass streams 
and our stream name and zero at the end which will actually grab all the messages so we'll store the result in a variable called res and if it has any values in it we'll go ahead and grab the events from the res variable if ever it has any values in it and actually we'll go ahead and loop through the each key value pairs that is passed as a message from the publisher file so the thing that is done over here is just a simple console log and after the actual process is done on that message we'll go ahead and send another command which will be actually the removal command so we'll say xdel we'll pass in the stream name which is q for our case and the event dot to string which will actually return the message id that is auto generated by the redis server when we try to publish the messages so i'll move to the terminal i'll create another terminal over here if i say node sub.js i see that it consumed the message that was stored in the redis previously when we first run the pop.js file over here if i refresh the data in here the message should be gone and as you can see if i open the stream there is no data over here so again if i run node pop.js i see that the message is immediately streamed to the redis server and consumed by the subscriber so if i kill the subscriber i'll try to publish some data i'll hit refresh button over here to refresh the stream inside the redis i see that there are three data stored in here so again if i run the subscriber file i see all the three messages will be consumed and if i again hit refresh all the messages has been successfully consumed from the redis server so this is one way for using redis as a message broker of course there can be a lot of other ways to do this that's all for this video i'll put all the codes in my github repository which i'll put the link down below so you'll be able to access them easily if you like content like this just go ahead and give a visit to my channel if you want to learn how to deploy a high available redis in docker environment I've got that content on my channel I'll put the links down below so if you have any questions any recommendations go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below and please don't forget to like and subscribe and with that I hope to see you in the next videos